What's going on guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another video for you guys. This is going to be a video showcasing my Dollar Tree movie haul pickups. Um, as most of us already know, Dollar Tree seems to be getting a lot more new, um, new batches of DVDs and Blu-rays here and there every couple months or so. But if you're curious to see what I picked up from this time around of the Dollar Tree's movies, uh, just stay tuned. I got them right here. You see, Jason was my son. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to start off, I'm going to show you what I got for myself first and I'll show you what I got after of what I basically bought to ch at least make a couple of bucks from, but let me see, let me scatter this here for the stuff I got for myself. I only got a couple things for myself and the rest is basically to try to make a couple bucks from, you know? Um, because a lot of these do sell real quick from people's Dollar Tree, so they won't, not everybody's going to be able to find these, so yes, people might give some hate to those who do this myself included but um if you're able to make at least two to three dollars from these it's only a dollar you're paying for them so if you, you're in the situation that i'm in why not just do it i mean either or even if you're not in the situation if you just want a couple extra bucks if you can find a few copies of something i didn't buy all of everything that i've seen here i got like two or three of each so i mean that's just what i did but these here i got for myself first we have i never even heard of this we have the night sitter right here from what I read about on the back, this is actually from the creator of Final Destination, so I can't really be too disappointed because I love Final Destination. But basically, this is about a con artist who poses as a babysitter, which reminds me of another movie. I think it's called like Emily or something like that. I could be pronouncing the, the name wrong, but that's it's like E M E L I E, I believe. That was the name of the babysitter movie where she basically was, I think, plotting to kill two kids that she was babysitting, and it was a really twisted, screwed up movie, and I loved it. So this kind of the synops I can't even say that word ever synopsis or whatever from of this movie basically reminded me of that, which is why I bought this. But it's about a con artist who poses as a babysitter to steal from a wealthy occult enthusiast. One of the kids she's sitting unwittingly summons a trio of witches known as the three mothers. So I sounded that sounded interested in me, so I'm kinda curious to be checking this out. Hopefully it's decent. The cover looks okay. Back doesn't really show too much from the pictures, so curious about that. And then we have here Clown Motel with the slip cover, which is pretty cool. Can't really take it off right now because the Dollar Tree sticker is keeping us attached. But um, definitely sounds like my type of movie. I don't know why I love clowns and horror movies. They can be creepy, but at the same time, I just love it. I heard about this a long time ago. I've been wanting to buy it, but not for the price that they were charging. So for a dollar, can't complain. And this one's basically about a group of ghost hunters coming back from an old ghost town and bachelorette party. Returning home from Las Vegas, they basically stumble across the clown, clown motel in the middle of nowhere and just decided to, you know, after a wild night of partying, they just, shit falls apart basically. So I'm really curious to be checking this one out. That's one from my own collection as well. And then this one here, man, this is close to my heart. Two of my favorite things in my whole life, horror and Christmas. Here we have all the creatures were stirring. Another reason to dread the season which I, I never dreaded the season to begin with. This just makes me love the season even more, you know? But, oh, come all ye evil right here. I don't really know exactly what to expect from this. I'm sure I looked up the trailer at some point, but I totally forget what happened. But I saw this in there for a dollar, can't complain. So it's basically about, let me see, the joyful spirit of the holidays is about to take one dark turn after another from sadistic office parties and last minute shopping nightmares to vengeful stalkers and immortal demons. There's plenty out there to keep you from getting out of bed to see what's under the tree this holiday season. I don't know if this is like an anthology. It doesn't mention to be so, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below before. If I haven't watched it yet, let me know if that is an anthology. I'm not sure. Looking forward to checking that out. I love Christmas. I love horror. So that's just right up my alley. So that's the stack of the stuff I picked up for myself. Can't complain. A dollar each. Definitely worth it. Check out your Dollar Tree. See if they have those. Let's see, and this is what I actually got to try to make a couple bucks off of. And here we have first, never even heard of this, but I love these VHS slip covers that they usually put on some movies. We have the New Kids on Blu-ray. I read the what this movie was about. It doesn't seem like something I would care to keep for myself. I'm sure it was probably a classic of its own at some point, but not for me. So I looked it up. 
it seems to be selling for like maybe five to seven dollars brand new with the slip cover of course that's what people are trying to do now they're buying these and selling them so you can't really charge too much for them because there's a lot out there being listed so spend a dollar two dollars for both of them you can sell basically get ten dollars for both maybe that's decent profit whatever and then we have another wolf cop right here I got this movie in my own collection already. I wish I'd waited because I paid regular price for it. I got the double feature with the first one. It was a Best Buy exclusive with a slip cover. This one here, no slip cover, just another Wolf Cop. I watched this recently. It's definitely a way out there type movie. If you like screwed up, low budget, twisted, very hilarious movies, this one. Definitely recommend check it out. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm glad I have it for myself. But this, again, gonna be trying to flip. Excuse me. I'm going to be trying to flip. I paid a dollar. Can I at least maybe get five to seven dollars? Can't complain. And then here we have that. Last but not least, I got three copies of Men at Work on DVD at one point. This was very rare, but I guess this is like a re release of MGM. But the original ones, they used to go for like 10 to 15 bucks. I do have a used copy I'm trying to sell still, but whatever, I guess. These were only a dollar, so I figured I looked them up. They seem to be selling for like five to seven. You might be lucky and sell them for more, maybe. if some buyers out there don't really keep up with stuff and might not even know what's going on with these releases at Dollar Tree. So who knows? So you're watching this video, you know now. Sorry I'm destroying the, you know, dropping some knowledge out there to some stuff that people, like resellers like me, might not want other people to know. But whatever, it is what it is. Um, either way, again, you pay a dollar for each, you're going to be making at least a few bucks. Can't complain about that, so... This is the reselling stack, as I'm going to call it, right here. And the stack for myself. That's usually the way it is now. It's the way of my life. The stack for my collection is usually smaller than the stack for stuff I'm trying to sell. Whatever. It is what it is, but can't complain about these pickups right here either way. Whether it's for me or to resell. So I basically paid $9. No tax, because where I live is no tax. And, um... I'm going to be making more than that profit either way. So I already paid for those with whatever I sell. So I don't know. But let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you found at your Dollar Trees. If you got any of these, if you've seen any of these, let me know how those movies are in the comments down below. What you picked up for yourself at your local Dollar Trees or whatnot. Even further distance Dollar Trees, wherever you went. Whether it was Chinatown or Timbuktu, Bunhole Liquors. That's just a liquor store that I know of that's nearby. Just... Now I'm just rambling, but guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do so, and if you already are, I appreciate it very much, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.